Let's get right into it. Three minutes. Even Wattpad writers could look better than that. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, my name is Chishimba or Chichi if you'd like. Ah, uh, I spaced out. But that doesn't matter. Let's continue. So today we're going to be talking about 365 days. What's the what's the rest of it? Part this two. Day, we call it part this two. Day, this day. 365 days this day. Mm, yes, I believe. That yes. Is this day. I didn't look at the title, I just watched the movie. But that's what we're going to be talking about because like there's a lot to discuss. So if you're new here, this is favor. If you're an OG, you already know who it is. But yeah, so do you have anything else to add? No. Okay. So let's get right into the video. Now, before we start, if you've seen the movie, I don't know, maybe you're a hopeless romantic, probably that's the only reason why you can enjoy such disorderliness atrocity. Okay, so from the All beginning. In one movie. From the beginning, I like to talk about how three minutes into the movie, they're already naked. Very horny set of people. I can't even understand. Very, like I hadn't even settled though. Like I was just there. Yeah, like, your welcome address is. Let's get right into it. Three minutes. Okay, no, I didn't check the time. Let me not lie. But it's like the three minutes, the intro, the beginning. That's the intro. And honestly, I feel like I'm maybe I'm the only one. I would have appreciated to know exactly how they got out of the previous situation because like it's just started and like I wanted to know what happened after the tunnel. Like, was in a dress. Exactly. Yeah, what happened? Was she sick? Did she go into hospital? I, I wanted to know those details. But they just started like she was saved, blah blah blah, life goes on. It it didn't go on. Like if it's a part two, it has to be at least give us some juicy detail before. Yeah, I was under the impression that they made one full movie and just cut it and maybe continue did continuation. In but said like a whole different This movie was bad acting, bad script writing. I don't know. But I don't even know why I would say bad casting because they did they, they did a good job like in the what's the name one. of the girl? Eh? What's the name of the girl? Laura. <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Laura. We'll call Laura. Laura because I can't keep doing that. La Laura. Thing. Laura. That's I'm Laura. calling her Laura. <laughs> <laughs> Laura. So <laughs> first of all, Laura does not Laura. Laura. <laughs> she does not have a sex appeal. She doesn't at have all. this thing where like oh, she looks like she's being forced to. It sounds Let's fake. It doesn't feel like she's feeling like. If you, if you guys paid attention, her friend has more of a sex appeal than she does. Her friend is natural, like it's there. It just she doesn't have to try. She's just, it's just coming. It's like, I don't know, did they force her into the movie? Like they say, oh yeah, you must continue. It's all a bit contract. forced. Like they, it's exaggerated. Acting is a bit exaggerated. Honestly, I don't even know. I was so disappointed. Very, very disappointed. And then into the movie, there was one nonsense that they did. One of the nonsense lines because... <laughs> I had to make sure I was taking note of lines to make sure you know is what watching, but no, very disappointing. Now on their honeymoon, this lady, I be what is his name, Massimo. <laughs> this lady. <laughs> <laughs> Let me even read it. Massimo, to go say you have one hour, then I will do what I want to do. Stupid Lara. <laughs> yeah. That's a, like wood. No. I'll do what I want to do with you. What's that? There is, it's no like it's, it's, there is no It's kind of it didn't even make sense because like you have one hour, then I'll do whatever I want. Then she says no, I'll do whatever. Like he's already told you have the one hour, so what's the yeah. other line for? And then the, the stupid part is she does whatever she was doing. Yeah, okay. That that was that was a bit hot. But then the problem was the man jumped on her. Why is that smell coming like a dub? <laughs> Like thousand. that jumping, I'm actually, I'm actually hundred percent sure that on set she she got hurt somehow, because he just Do you jumped. You want to break her bones? Somebody's daughter. Somebody's, Somebody's daughter. daughter. <laughs> hey, oh my god! He just jumped, and I don't know if some of you found that okay, but I, I was thinking of like, 
she's a human being guys like or maybe they just put props down because for him to jump like that maybe they should have done something sexier like if he's supposed to hop on like he you know like he came he could have he crawled something i don't know he have done. He don't go and hop like a dog come on now are you possible he just went <laughs> skydiving <laughs> And you know, I give her props for not screaming because the money that very practice is the most I've had. Because we really just been like, What are you doing? She didn't scream nothing. She's very good in that aspect. Yeah, she's good at acting in that aspect. Yeah, that's really maybe they good tried it a couple of times, but like, how can someone jump on you and you don't scream? He, I don't, I wonder. Another thing is. Did he have a problem with his tongue? Like, could he stay in his mouth? The entire movie, his tongue was stuck out like a dog, lapping dog. Oh my god! That's what I mean, I didn't notice. Hey, how can you not notice that? Very disgusting me. <laughs> Every smooth if the tongue is out. They just. Tongue is out. Even when they're kissing, the tongue is out. <laughs> don't show it to all me. Okay, what I appreciate about the movie is the fact that they gave another. <laughs> they gave another like couple. couple the chance to no. okay the other couple the, the way the guy walks in there with the rose it was a bit like cringy i was like what's this i was like there is, a, is this supposed to be sexy he was like <laughs> he was looking like a girl <laughs> like it seemed a bit stupid until maybe when he started like throwing the petals in the water then now started seeming okay from that point but before it's like the way he was working it, it he didn't give what it didn't give what they're supposed to give mm -hmm. it was seeming a bit like out of character like that's not what you normally do the only person who played their part well was just laura's Oga, best think, friend yeah the ogre that's only her she she, uh, she, she did, did a good she, job she did a good job and i'm glad they gave another couple a chance to fornicate too <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad but <laughs> wait wait coming to fornication so laura and massimo could just not wait they couldn't just wait to say i do, I do before right. Doing things, they, they had you for one last one time. Last scene. Like yeah. less than one more time. One more Guys, you can't wait a few hours to just make it like. No, one more scene before it becomes official. Guys, when that once you just wait those few hours, then it's ordained by God. They, they couldn't wait. Education. And in fact, they even did it outside, guys. No, sh oh. like anyway, like people like that type of thing. <clears throat> but anyway, apart from that. I, I no, the way she was also talking, she seemed like she was being forced. I get that she has an accent. I think it's the accent, maybe that's no, why we didn't get she the did, pick up the. It, the first one, it didn't have. It wasn't as strong as that. Now she was just standing like a like she was being forced to say the lines. How did they even end up producing that without saying, "Oh yeah, change some tune, add some sexiness, body language, do this"? I feel that. like knowing that the first movie hit. They should have also checked well with the sentences and yeah. everything because I don't think they did and a good job with English sentences. Please, so before we go, Sha, did they not get like a sex instructor or something for the movie production? Because what was I feel like most of some of the scenes were even repeated. We, it's like we have seen it before, just in a different format. Because when Laura, on Christmas, when yeah. Laura said, I didn't get, I don't know what to get a man with everything. everything. I get that because when he has everything, it's hard to get him a gift, right? But at the same time, was sex a gift? I mean, he gets it every day. For free. Even for, before they go married. For free. For free. And it's not like happy birthday. No. It's just for free. It's not like an extra additional gift on top of Exactly. It. It's like, do whatever you want with me. Don't you do whatever you want with you? Any, any, he already any does it. He already does it. We watched it Even before day. you go married, there is nothing new. Are you not tired? I feel like that wasn't a gift. Honestly. No. I feel like sex is not a gift. But and the fact that she doesn't want to put in the effort, it's still the other person. How is that a present? It's not a present. You just say work out. <laughs> Me, I felt like, I don't know, very little effort put into it. I don't know how. Bosha, we shall appreciate one thing. Very good playlist in the movie. Very good playlist. I feel like they Did kind it? of just made the movie to suit the songs. To suit the songs, because kind of like the songs went with everything, and the songs were mostly also done by him, right? Yeah, sounded like his voice. But Sha, the playlist is still better than the movie. The entire movie, the playlist. At least you get a playlist. Uh, if mm -hmm. you don't like the movie, you get, you get a, a playlist. playlist. Mm. Or whatever, I don't know. You want? No, it let's talk about somebody juicy. The gardener. Gardener is juicy, guys. Gardner is juicy. I found the gardener more attractive than Massimo. That if Mas you don't Mas agree with me, that's just... your business. But the gardener. 
Most was just talking out his stick and his talk. <laughs> the gardener had this, he had this tan, <laughs> tattoos. Do you know what? What I liked the most about the gardener is the fact that he he looked gentle at the same time he looked rough. Like he, yeah, he had he body, he had tattoos, edgy, edgy. edgy. Yeah. But at the same time, when he smells, he looks kind. Yeah, humble. Massimo just looks like he's rough all around, like a dying Alice. Like Osha. The first thing I did say when he came to where she Me was, I knew there were problems. I was just yeah. like, this gardener is too comfortable. He's too comfortable. He's too comfortable. And how can you get the madam and, and you're saying, Miss what? Like, you're, yeah, you're talking about too much. Sexy, sexy. This is the <laughs> boss. This is the boss you're talking to. And boss you're just. Respect it is. Because from the first conversation, he was hitting on her. Mm -hmm. That was. That and was even how she was giving, like, you know, some go ahead signal. And even that girl is a Lara, Lara is for the streets. <laughs> streets. It's very bad, <laughs> This one the streets, but another thing is. But how I, can I, the gardener look like that? Clearly, you are clearly working the garden. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> he was looking really views for a gardener, built and too polished for a gardener. Gan it yes, was, it was too good to be not, true. How did she not see? It? No, but you know that some of these stories that somebody tells you, oh, I was in uni, then I mm -hmm. dropped out. Mm -hmm. but have you seen that gardener looks? He carries himself with this arrogance and confidence and sexiness to it. Me, I was that like, you cannot think that's first the gardener. Of all, another your occupation. Another red flag. This gardener. First of all, what was even his name? What is his name? What is his name? What is? Can I? Adriano. What is his no. name? Yes, that, that's his no. No, his name wasn't Adriano. Are you sure? No. Are you sure? His name is. No, no. What is his name? Oh no, that, that's not. That's not his name. No, no, what was his name? Mm -hmm. We'll come back to it huh? and we remember. Uh, I'm not sure. Are you saying something? No! We'll come back to it and we remember. Okay, we'll just call him Gardner. So, the first red flag. This Gardner came to this place. You can clearly tell it's owned by somebody who's in a cartel or something. And they're flirting with his wife. You clearly the audacity. Know. The audacity. That was too much. That Even was too much. That, uh, this you fear death. death. You fear death, but he was flirting... With courage, Nacho. with eh, natural, natural, so much. Oh, natural! <laughs> His name was natural. Yes, natural. Yes, natural. <laughs> the name suits him. <laughs> okay, wait. Another thing is, um, wait. He got her this fashion house for Christmas. That mm -hmm. was that was a nice gesture, but at the same time, I don't know. I don't know. Everything just seemed so controlled. And another thing I didn't appreciate is after the accident, they didn't show us what exactly he did to whoever he thought was responsible. Because yeah. knowing, knowing how he does, he reacts like he's got fast reactions. I expected that the person would be dead or something, but it's like nothing happened. It seemed like he didn't do anything about it. For them to do like part two and make it like that. And then... What else? What else? What else? What else? I want to say something. It also didn't make sense that she lost her baby and didn't want to tell him because she thought he would overreact. Wouldn't you also be mad if you lost your baby? Wouldn't you want revenge? I, I feel like I the, the, the emotions weren't right. The person who was writing should have thought in a sense of an actual ordinary woman losing their baby. How would they react? Mm -hmm. And also, this is very important. It was a red flag. How does the gardener kept popping up everywhere she was and she didn't think something is wrong? Conveniently, conveniently, the car is around. there when you are leaving. Conveniently, he's got a flight ticket. The gardener has a spare flight you. ticket. The gardener. gardener, are you stupid? The gardener, conveniently, right after you see your husband with another woman, he has a spare ticket for you. Okay, so Favor is under the impression that she should have asked him or talked to him about it or said something when she saw it. Yeah, okay. Happening. I get annoyed immediately. Why? My first reaction wouldn't have been leaving the like leaving the country. Leaving the country was wrong, but I would have left the place. Leaving the place, yes. But, but you are I going did. to come and explain to me why you are committing adultery. This is why I feel Laura is for the streets. First of all, your husband has cheated. Fine. You have now this gardener. Just you talk to him the once because they only showed us one conversation she had with Nacho. Yeah. One conversation. You only know his name. And he flirted with you. And then he says he has a spare ticket to take you wherever and you don't know where he's taking you and you follow. And you just want to leave. And Hello, it's mama. unrealistic because in the previous one, people tried to kill her. And now you're following somebody, somebody. somewhere else. Is that she's just behaving for a for a mafia's wife? 
she was too she was, she was too comfortable she too, did not learn a lesson too all. trusting and yeah I never know. she's just all shades of trash because obviously we don't you think it's convenient it's too convenient for the gardener to take you somewhere and she was also a bit selfish because if your husband finds out the gardener is the one who took you somewhere He's going to kill the gardener if he's mm-hmm. actually a normal mm-hmm. gardener. And you're willing to risk. You're willing the, to risk his life. life. Hmm. Selfish Lara. It's just a pattern somehow. Her calling her parents, saying I'm going to disappear, but I'm okay, and doing the same thing in the first one, <laughs> saying <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm okay, but she was kidnapped for it. The slap his mom. Her mom gave Massimo. <laughs> it looked. Fake. It looked so fake. That slap looked fake. Oh come on now. They couldn't put some action into it. Just like. Even in a class presentation, I, I put my daughter. back into my slab. I knew you were bad for my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, and, and then, you know, when she was leaving to go, she's like, my husband is parked outside. And then she says, uh, she walks, walks, walks. And then she says, and one more thing. Yeah. Don't try to stop me. He didn't try don't to try stop, stop me. He did Why not would try. he stop me? He did not try to stop me. She walked a few steps and then said, don't try to stop Did he try? Was he even say, oh, did he go after her? He didn't. Massimo was too relaxed. And he wasn't behaving like the mafia that he is. He was behaving stupid. I mean, come on, give us some I mean, energy. he's in love, so maybe. But that doesn't justify the behavior. What was that? I just feel like they didn't want to produce the movie. And I'm not thinking Maybe it's COVID and had to be. Why were they all wearing shades? And some of the shades were ugly. They didn't suit. Everywhere Those shades. Were- there's this old man, Nacho's dad, the shades he was wearing for an old man. No. They were in that Everybody wearing. wearing shades. Inside, Maybe it's outside. like a, they made it, try, try to make it look like a mafia thing. Do mafias go around wearing shades? Is that a... <laughs> I'm not inquiring. But if you are one, do people go around wearing shades? I'm under the impression that Nacho actually really likes Laura. He would have been a better choice for stupid Laura. It's <laughs> stupid Laura. <laughs> May I feel like, for a person who claims they were so in love with Massimo, she Laura fell in a few days into somebody's bed. In a few days, you guys. She was already alert behavior. The first one that comes, you are falling. And she's married, though. It's not just you are like married with your ring. You have to at least fi- like finalize your divorce or something mm. if you want to leave. But a few days down the line, she's already in his bed. The same day, she's already. And she wasn't even debating like, no, stop, no. my husband. No, never did she ever say no. After God, fear women. I mean, she's just jumping. Everybody, ask public assessment. I don't even know what to call her. From one, you have not even, oh yeah, let's say that is with Massimo. Yeah, 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 you have jumped to the next man. That's, but it's good that they gave that guy who was in the first part, the guy who was taking care of her, who was like eating with her by the table, they gave him to her best friend and made yeah. him a bit important mm. at the same time i enjoyed those people's fun moments more than i enjoyed massimo and laura, laura's this moments i don't even know he wasn't giving her attention why wasn't he giving her attention can we talk about laura's stupidity and how she overreacts in public like she can't have a civil conversation okay i get that she tried to talk about his brother but going about it in a way where in public she always has an outburst in yeah. front of people. Because she did that even in the first part. And that's her character, right? But like, uh, seeing stupidity. But I mean, it's he likes stupidity. that type of thing. Because she you know she doesn't listen. He likes it. Mm, now you know that lady... Um, what's, it, what's her name? The lady Massimo allegedly cheated on her with. Mm. If lady, you could see the, you know, the sexiness, the sex appeal... So compared to Laura, I don't even know. Laura was a shades of I dryness. Think, I don't know. I feel like Laura was. It's like her life was different, and now she found something different in Maximo, like something. But she had different. accepted it. it. It was already more than one year. Three hundred six years have passed. You say you want to, be a, you want to marry your kidnapper. You've married them. Marry your kidnapper. In Nigeria. <laughs> I feel like these movies that are coming out now, the Wattpad books, they are, they are promoting toxic relationships and Not toxicity even because they want you to believe you can love a bad boy and you turn good for you. They cannot turn good for you. Once a bad boy, always In the a real bad world, boy. not Once every bad boy, bad boy is always a bad boy. For you. Plus, let me even commend the Wattpad writers. You are doing better than 365 writers. What was that? Even Wattpad have more. Some writers are doing better than that. Eh? Yeah? 
because what's i what think it was a thing of trying to make it more like 50 shades you know 50 shades had parts and then it still was a hit to the end but it's different the storyline made sense the acting was on point like you can't try to make something like something else it just doesn't hit the same and they should now even continue the they game. just overdid the like in the beginning i felt like they overdid the sex scenes like they overdid it for no reason because i felt like we watched half the movie without no, having a point, point to the movie yeah it's like what's happening we like, only find the movie the, the point of the movie in the last 30 minutes 25 minutes even that it was like hey, oh yeah let's just say this happened that happened let's yeah just, let's, just let's give them some that. closure Cl <laughs> Plus, yeah. me, my own problem is the fact that they never explained why he was being distant with her. At least give us some flashback. Why is he being distant? Why yeah. is he behaving the way he's Even doing when she her? said she lost her baby, give us a flashback of her in the hospital so, or, something or something that happened in between. I feel like something. there's a gap. There's a gap. In, I don't even know. I don't know what it was rated. But, like, I think it was rated 7. 7.0 or something. Jeez. I swear, it who, reached. Who, who are those? It reached seven point zero, and it wasn't. Please, working. if you liked this movie, honestly, I, I liked the first one. I mean, I know you didn't like it, but I liked the even first the first one. one. I mean, I felt like even what part writers could do better than that. I'm sorry, but that is how low it is to me that I'm comparing it to what part. I'm trying to remember parts that were just ridiculous as well. That's that's bad. Honestly, I don't even know how they watch. The whole thing premiered it and said, oh, yeah, it is good. That's bad, man. They should change. But I feel like... Oh, oh, and his thing popping out of nowhere. Oh, can we talk about um Nacho? Like, I think Nacho is just... I don't know. He was... Remember when the, the, the guy came to... I don't know if he came to kill Nacho, if he came to do what, but Nacho fought more. Mm -hmm. And then... He acted like nothing happened with Laura. Like he was just acting like it's okay. It happened at night, but yeah, I felt like his story of oh I have a rich dad. He was being honest at the end of the day. He was being honest, and at the he end of the day, like he did not him. drag her to the place. She he agreed. Did. She actually is doing the one who said anywhere but anywhere here. Take but me here. anywhere. And so you really are kidnapping you anywhere but here. Exactly. <laughs> she was acting mad at the end when she found out about the connection with Massimo. When at the end of the day, she decided. To, to go, go with, with him. him. She ah. decided to open her legs. She decided to stay that long. Because either way, she could have left after a day or two. But she stayed. Plus, they have a thing of always finding Lara. We should have asked. We might have as well just called it finding Lara. That's it. That's it. Finding Lara. Because everybody is always looking for her up and down. Where is Lara? Where is Lara? Lara don't disappear. 247. Give it a break. Come on. Finding Lara. Probably that is how we should call this video. <laughs> finding Lara. Lara. <laughs> I think that no, th yeah, that should have actually been the title of the movie instead of that thread. So, this day, what what this day? In fact, that doesn't even make sense, guys. What happened this, day? this day? Oh, like what's happening now? Three hundred sixty-five days, but now what's after? So, huh. Oh, I I I get what you're trying to do. I get it, but it just it just didn't work. The title didn't like stick. Yes. <laughs> for me, I yeah. really, like I didn't remember. I didn't like it too much for the title to stick. But overall, I think. Let me talk about his thing. A very unexplained. And the thing was just sucking his teeth anyhow. <laughs> no! Like I feel like Massimo <laughs> knew how to act when he's acting as Massimo. But as Not a twin, as he dumb. couldn't do it. He was just hissing with his teeth anyhow. Is that the thing you're about? <laughs> No, like for you, I feel like his acting was a bit exaggerated because maybe he was playing two characters, but like the other one he, he couldn't so play properly. How many people play two characters? I'm just disappointed, honestly. Very bad script writing, very bad everything, very bad romance, very bad. The ending. Talk about the ending. Massimo's brother dead. Lara short. She, she probably isn't dead. They probably yeah. have to do part three. three. Yeah. Another yeah, thing yeah. is. This Lara girl, she had no PTSD whatsoever. At all. For somebody who's gone through so much, somebody tried to kidnap you in the previous one, and you still want to be going out and, like, have freedom. You got into an accident, you still want to explore the world. 
You want to go out there? I think it was unrealistic. Is it? I think she even needs to be locked up. You know, she's fishers of men. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so apparently, the ratings have actually dropped, and it's at two point seven out of ten right now. Never been happier because. It they deserve it. Okay, but they should have been given like a three. No, no, no. Why? Because of the seven. Because of the seven. Two. Because of the songs. Two. Even that song shows for the songs. No, you give them at least a three or four mm. because they use they money for production. Yet. Who cares? When they were producing this nonsense, they didn't think about their money. And uh, can we talk about how most of the movie, not even half or three, maybe like three quarters of the movie was low budget. We didn't see a lot of people. It there was really, just Lara, Massimo. People. Best there friend, some... best friend. Yeah, they were there bringing in people later on, but I think it's a thing of where you can't afford to give them overtime or too many scenes, because it was low budget in the beginning. They just had locations, cars, basically. So we'll give it to them. The place natural to Kato. That was a very beautiful place. The place yeah, 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 yeah. Even just the the place she committed adultery. Very beautiful place. Very beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the place she sinned. Let's but at this extent, um, they had been there. I mean, they had been seen the day of the wedding, so yeah. it's not like it's a new thing. What else? Natural sister. Natural sister was such a vibe. I don't see how a lot of people's sisters are not that welcoming, but she was so open to the thing. It's kind of like she knew the plan. She was just there to like keep her company, okay, yeah, so that she didn't decide to leave, like make her comfortable. Just trapped you. She fell right into the trap. They didn't even need to push her. My she problem is started. the part where Massimo's ex was telling Massimo's brother that this wasn't part of the plan when they found that Nacho had taken Laura. This wasn't part of the plan in the office and everything. Like I'm now wondering what exactly was What's the, the plan? plan. They didn't even bother to tell us what the plan was. Was the plan to bring okay i know nacho was part of the plan but then where where, where, what, where where did she fit into the plan okay they had to kidnap her to make massimo accept you okay i guess so but they just spelled it out for some of us who have been slow <laughs> they should have just I f they just i feel like a lot of loops they're just missing parts in the movie it's like everything had to connect in the last 10 minutes of the movie everything you've been watching for the past few hours and that wasn't cool because most of it, I think they spent more like half of the movie for negating or, you know, doing yeah, the act busy. of God, but without actually explaining anything. And then they spent a lot of time, Nacho and her bonding. Yeah. It's like they prolonged it. They found a way to prolong the movie. Now that I think about it, I feel like they were trying to push an agenda that went wrong. The independent woman thing. Wanting to feel independent and be like you get with the with fashion Laura, house. yeah, with Laura, how wanting to explore, how wanting to live, and then she finally explored the world of men. Abio, she explored it, she has fished, fished, she excavated. But at this point, I'm now wondering, aha, uh -huh, the ending, right? It is very clear that she went with natural. But I feel like she was shot at the wrong time because I would have liked it if Massimo knew that she slept with Nacho so many times. Yes, before, before her, she got before shot. Before she got shot. Because so that he can be angry that, you know, she cheated and she also got shot. Like my, oh, am I one and only girl? She cheated? Baby girl. That's what I guess. <laughs> that's what I feel like was missing. It's like kind of, you know, she followed this man, but you don't know the extent, like how far it went. And I would have loved it if Massimo knew. Mm. Because now that you found out that it wasn't him and you've messed up. She, like, I mean, I get that your partner has cheated. Let's assume he cheated. Yes, but does that mean the first one that comes straight to his bed? You are, you are hopping in. Not even with her. No, my you husband. She did not even think of her husband one day, one bit. But I'm yeah. sure if they left her, she would have explored more men after natural. I feel like that was it. So you guys can comment. I feel like just like comment down below what you think about everything we've said. If you agree, if you don't agree, what you and think. If you like if this you liked movie, it, mm -hmm. rate it down in the comment section. Like one to ten, rate it. For me, I'm giving it. 
A five. No. For bad acting. For bad acting. For bad acting. Let me try and say one. One for bad acting. And for the songs though, because um, I now have, you know, some new songs in my playlist. So I'll just say some two for the songs. Cannot compensate. The songs cannot compensate the bad acting, bad script writing. Who wrote that? I feel like I'm giving it a five because a lot of no. things were repeated. Laura that changing much, Laura no. changing her wig from what? Her hair from black to blonde, then now from blonde but, to black. Different movie, different format. Just reverse. Laura, the birthday gift, same room, same type of thing, fantasy. And can we talk about that time when she did the birthday thing, yeah? That man actually only used like one thing or two things. They just kept on repeating no, only, the thing. Only two. He didn't he didn't do much. Only two. Exactly. With everything only that two. was there. Fifty shades, man, they did they will use everything that is made accessible. <laughs> <laughs> everything. <laughs> Everything, but that man was given options, and he took two options. If I may, I even feel like one was just repeated, just change the position. So, mm, mm. Plus, they had weird faces. He always has a weird face. Can we talk about his face in the first one when he was on the plane when his flight attendant, when the air hostess was like helping him out? That was like the worst face. Disgraceful. <laughs> That's how we ask when they get the instructor or not. I feel like if my husband was acting, I would never watch it. <laughs> it would be embarrassing. I would never watch such things. I just. <laughs> I think they would Disgraceful. Be. I have been holding this line in my chest because it's rhyming with the audacity to police such atrocity. Start giving me a. I'm just writing some lines. That's what they should have been giving us fire, 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 fire lines. Hey, what I haven't thought of. Laura was given a fashion house because she wanted to be independent, but her friend did not mind the lavish lifestyle. Her friend didn't have a job the whole. She was just with Laura to enjoy. She was just relaxing. She was if I, like, if I, if you, if you I really want to be that friend. I, I was going to say, even if you, you want to end up with a kidnapper, we accommodate I want to be that friend. I will help you out. I want to be it. that friend. I, I like to drop life. Cause see the difference. Why can't you be the like kidnapped lady and then I kidnapped? Yeah. So that's why I'm saying Laura's friend. It was more healthy. It was a healthy the situation. Of you getting kidnapped is high. So but when you get who kidnapped, kidnapped? <laughs> <laughs> who kidnapped me? <laughs> Guys, now, now, now we're just going into things we shouldn't be going to. Don't you think you should get kidnapped? It's like I'm in this one. Me, yeah. So I can get like you know some baby girl privileges. <laughs> Maybe I should raise some kidnap for you. <laughs> I get kidnapped. No. All, all my subscribers know it's you. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Yeah, but that was it. You guys, please comment down below and like this video if you like. Tell her how bad if you agree, the movie if it, was. even with one thing we've said, if you agree, give it a thumbs up. It helps the channel and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Share any of my videos with somebody. A clip you liked. Make a meme out of it if you want. Like, do something because you need to grow. Like this year is a year of growth. And if you agree with that movie, I don't know what kind of romantic you are because that is not even romantic. I'm a hopeless romantic and I still didn't like that movie. So yeah, I don't I'm a hopeful romantic, please. But I'm a thug too. At the we same are time. thugs. But thugs. That was a moment of weakness. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, before we keep talking, we're going to leave now. Thank you for watching and enjoy your day. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it and then come and comment. But first, Bye. watch this video. Bye.